What's up you guys? This is Tim Trevathan with Tim Trevathan Homes and Keller Williams Realty and I am here in downtown Duluth in Duluth, Georgia. If this is your first time to my channel, make sure to subscribe because I cover all kinds of local real estate content in the North Atlanta metro area. So come check out downtown Duluth with me because I think you guys are going to like it. Duluth, Georgia is a northern Atlanta suburb with a long history and a thriving downtown area. The city has managed to preserve its historic charm and character while also attracting both businesses and residents. This is an exciting time to be a Duluth resident. Downtown Duluth is popular amongst young families, working professionals, and active adults alike thanks to the variety of housing options. There is the active adult community, Everly Duluth just across from the town green, the high-end district at Duluth Apartment Homes located directly across the street from the main downtown area and popular with young professionals, and then there are single family townhomes and detached homes flanking the downtown area on the north and west sides. Bottom line, if urban walkability is something that appeals to you, then Duluth has something for you no matter what your age or family status is. Downtown Duluth is busy with city-sponsored events all year long. We only have time to mention a few of the most popular annual events, but you can head to the city's website and grab the entire list. The first is Fridays in Duluth, also known as Food Truck Fridays. This annual event is much loved by Duluth residents. Spanning the warm months of May through September, come out on Friday nights and enjoy food trucks and live music. Duluth Celebrates America is a second event I want to highlight. It's the annual 4th of July celebration that is famously held on, wait for it, July 3rd of every year. It's a win-win. Celebrate in downtown with your fellow Duluth residents and then celebrate at home or with friends on the 4th. Third, Duluth Fall Festival and Duluth Spring Arts Festivals are both popular annual events. Both events have their own unique character and bring a variety of vendors to town along with live entertainment, food, and family fun. That is just the tip of the iceberg. There is also Derby Day, Duluth on Tap, Cookies and Cocoa with Santa, Flicks on the Bricks, Paint and Duluth, Summer Stage Concert Series, and more. Bottom line, it is impossible to be bored in Duluth. Now let's change gears just a bit and talk about what you'll find when you visit downtown Duluth. All right guys, so that was a general tour of all of downtown Duluth. Now I'm gonna go into the details and cover each individual business, or at least most of them anyway. And uh, so we've covered the city hall, the downtown uh, Duluth green area, and as well as the public library you just saw, which is fairly new it just opened last year so great resource uh, for the public for books resources for research uh, for kids and adults they even got a 3d printer in there so anyway starting here I'm gonna cover basically this is behind City Hall and we're gonna kind of go in a circle in our tour so I'm gonna just kind of cover some of these places hope you guys enjoy so Marbury Creative Group as well as Lucky Company are both marketing and advertising agencies so if you have a business or you're thinking of starting a business That'd be a good place to check out. All right there is a playground, which uh, is usually uh, active with lots of kids. As you can see, there's a little bit of construction work going on at the time of this video um, that they're gonna finish up here soon. Um, there in that building, uh, more agencies and so forth. Truck and tap, self-explanatory. Got food trucks, each and every day is different, as well as good craft beer. So you have to check it out. And coming up here on the left, this is the art studio, eye candy. You don't need a uh, reservation. You can just walk in, go with a friend or family member or so forth. Over there across the street is the Red Clay Music Foundry, 260 seat listening room, as well as the Gwinnett School of Music on the first floor. Very popular place and it's also mentioned in my things to do video of Duluth. Their OW4 pizza right there. Great Jersey style pizza you have to check out. There's a brewing company you can check out. Across the street here is Pure. Another place for craft beer, um, great hangout spot for young professionals and just if you want to make a new friend, you can go there and check it out. Um, great place, it's always packed whenever I see it. There is a craft pie place, good for snack food, uh, the pie is a good decent size. I don't really drink beer so I don't go to these, <laughs> these uh, breweries really honestly but um, usually I go here. What you see in front of me on Main Street is the Chocolatery. They've got uh, gourmet ice cream and they got artisan chocolates, handmade fudge, things like that. 
kind of a suite too so that's my kind of place this one right here so um now we're kind of taking the back way making a circle so still on main street but this is on the the back side of these uh businesses so right there was uh nacho daddy great mexican food um there's a lot in gwinnett county a lot in uh, lawrenceville buford as well but here's one that you can check out nacho daddy great nachos um, and tacos I like as well at Nacho Daddy. Um, coming up, you're going to see here on Parsons Alley is what we call it, Dreamland Barbecue. You know, I'm from Montgomery, Alabama, and I'm used to seeing lots of Southern barbecue, but there's not as much in Georgia, believe it or not. There's still some, and that's one of them. You should definitely check out for the ribs, baked beans, mac and cheese, great place. Local and north on the right, great burgers, shrimp scampi. I've been there with a couple friends, and we enjoyed the food there a lot. These places are cool because they vary as far as being able to eat indoors and outdoors. Here's a beautiful mural. Um, awesome. Just gorgeous. Um, I actually stood here and stared at it for a couple minutes because it was just <laughs> stunning. And it was big too. Really huge. Uh, so yeah, this is Parsons Alley. Um, now we're just kind of seeing the lights that look nice. It has a nice vibe at night when they're lit up. Um, I didn't show you the Simply Done Donuts, but I will in a second here in the video that I just passed. You have to check that place out for donuts. Some of the best I've ever had. Um, again, here is Nacho Daddy, Dreamland Barbecue, and what we're walking through. It's kind of like a little common area. You can just sit, you can order your food and bring it out and sit down and eat. And uh, sometimes I got live music, you know, some uh, guitarists playing, singing. And um, it, it is, this is like, you know, it doesn't look very active because this is the middle of the day during the week. But on the weekend, you can imagine how packed this place is or just even on the weekday nights. Um, very active after uh, people get off work at 5 p.m. or so forth. Uh, so again, here is the area where it's kind of like a common area. And um, yeah, you know, I come here maybe twice a month. Uh, with my wife, sometimes we'll bring our little dog, Lawrence, our golden doodle, walk around the green area. And, uh, you know, Fridays uh, during the summer and spring, those are the best because you got food trucks um, and all the festivities and band music and so forth. So that's also a great time to come. Um, so, yeah, again, here is an overview of the intersection that leads into downtown Duluth. And right there is Personify Shop. Pretty cool place because they got like, you know, um, handmade, custom made postcards. Um, they got shoes, uh, clothes, school supplies, and so forth. Um, there's Sweet Octopus, which is great Korean food. It's a Korean fusion. They even got Thai food. So if you want pot Thai, there's a good place for it. And reasonably priced too. If you keep going, Coming up on the right, you'll see Maple Street Biscuit. They've got one in St. Augustine, Florida, Chattanooga, Tennessee. How do I know? Because I've, I've been to both in both cities. But here's one in our very own Duluth, city of Duluth. Great chicken biscuits. And here is Simply Done Donuts is what I'm talking about. Some of the best donuts I've ever had. You're not going to miss it because there's a parking lot right next to it. So if you park there, you're going to see it. And they've got so many different flavors on the menu, um, and you would think that there's one that's ordered more than the others, but they ba they're balanced out according to the owner. A lot of people order all of them, so great business. Across the street here, as you can see, I'm just kind of walking around past the businesses now. And back at the green, um, this is what it looks like during the week um, without the activity of, of different events like Food Truck Friday. One thing I do want to mention, though, is right there, you see those buildings on the right. People live there. Um, I thought they were all businesses on the first and top floors, but no. There are people that live there. And how do I know? Because one unit sold earlier this year for $1.1 million. So if you ever wanted to know what it costs to live right on downtown Duluth Green, one point one million. I believe it's that red brick one with the balcony, $1.1 million. Um, or it could be that other one, the stucco one that's the, the beige color. But anyway, um, for location, 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 as they say, that's how much it costs. I think they were built like in the 1950s, so it's kind of a little bit outdated on the inside. But again, it's for the, the location and for the kind of like the historical vibe. So yeah, 
And look, guys, if you've thought about moving to Duluth or Gwinnett County or Metro Atlanta in general, please give me a ring. I, I love to help you. And I help people from all over uh, the U.S. that have wanted to move here and have moved here. So call, text, email, however you want to get a hold of me, I'm here. I'm available to you and I want to help you. That's why I do these videos. I like to share kind of like the ins and outs of where I live and what I enjoy about living here. So hope to see you on the next video. I'm going to cover another vlog on Swanee Town Center. So you definitely have to check that one out.